right, guys, we're back. <clears throat> what I've been working on here is I'm getting the, I've got the um, shuttle bay. I don't know too well you can see this, but it's um, all been light blocked now and tested. Looks decent um, for what you're going to be able to see of it anyway through the back door because <laughs> it's going to be so small. But uh, um, I've been working on sanding the back here putting the I don't really do well you're going to be able to see this but in the light that stinks. but right here I've got the let's turn it this way so you can see it I've got it cut away right here whoops helps I get it in camera right here it's getting all cut away and I've been sanding with this my little sanding stick here and don't know where I put it but I had my files out here must be covered up by something somewhere here. But uh, I've been uh, using my X-Acto knife and everything to uh, get it down further and further so that way that this gets mounted in here like so. Oops, if I put it in the right way. This will go in here like this. And it goes in here like something, something like this here. So you can see that too well. But uh, I have to do some more trimming here on this uh, peg here, so that way it sits down in there flat. Because right now when it's in there, when it goes in, it goes in crooked. Uh, I guess I'll show you here. Uh, let's see here. Oops. I wonder if you can see how crooked that is. But as soon as I get that trimmed down enough in there, it should be nice and straight. And I'll close up, and then it should be able to close up because I've uh, actually drilled out these holes just a little bit more. Did I compensate for the, the paint that was on them and I'm sanding these on the things that incident that go into the holes signing those off get the paint off those um, so I'm gonna get back at this and hopefully when I come back I'll have it closed up and I'll have this one oh yeah I almost forgot I'll have this other light in it that goes in the back back here so that way it'll, it'll have the red lights above the doors so I'll get back at it and I'll come back in just a few Alright, but guys, progress continues here. What I've got done now is I finished getting these all cut out. I've test fitted the shuttle bay. Where is it? Here's, there it is. I test fitted it. It's all, everything fits in there nice and even now. I need to cut away part of that, uh, <clears throat> the whole mounting peg there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I drilled the holes here with my micro drills and I used a little bit of uh, some fiber optic I mushroomed the end of it and I put it through the hole and everything's turning out good it's got that nice little bubble look to it I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it but what I'm gonna do is paint the fiber optic dip it in uh, some crystal clear not crystal clear but uh, some red uh, um, clear paint from Tamiya I'm not sure how this is all this is turning out. It might be all blurry. Let's see if I can get it get to uh, get nice and to get clear up here. I don't know if I can do it or not. I always have a hard time with this camera. But either, anyway, got the fiber optic in. I do have the light mounted in the back now. It goes in the uh, that will light up the fiber optic in the uh, on the lights. When it's done in the shuttle bay will go in like so. Let me get it in there for me real quick. Come on, come on in. Come on in. And it lights up the shuttle bay pretty good. Don't know how well, too well you can see it right now, but when I get it together I'll come back and show it to you. And then I'll continue on with uh, with her wings and stuff like that. So I'll be back in just a few then. All right, guys. Here I am, working at the um, protector. Having a little problems doing it today, though, because I had a little accident this morning. <clears throat> I had uh, outside working in my yard and cutting some branches with an electric chainsaw, and at one point the branch snapped back as I lifted up the saw, and it hit the saw and it went into my hand here, and it got this finger there all the way across. The chainsaw did. Still got the digits, but they're very sore. 
Um, they're all double band-aid on each one. Uh, it hurts. And this one keeps opening back up and it keeps soaking and soaking through, so getting to be really kind of frustrating. But I'm gonna get back at this and be back in just a few then to show you the progress. All right, guys, back. Um, it's been just over a week now since I've been able to work on this because of my hand. Um, it's healing up nicely now. I got the band-aids off most of the fingers. It's got some pretty good scars here on the on the top of my fingers here. So this one here still opens up every now and then. I got one of those butterfly bandage band-aids on it now to pinch it shut. Hopefully that'll heal up. So all this because of the stupid chainsaw. Anyway back to the protector. Uh, what I've got done glued in a couple pieces here from the inside uh, I, for putting it together in the uh, second uh, uh, step two here and I've got the shuttle bay fastened in back here and now I'm getting ready I'm just getting ready finishing running the wires down through the belly here of the ship and then I'll be putting this half on and then we'll be testing everything to see if everything lights again and then go from there. So I'll get back at it and I'll come back as soon as I got those two apps put together and show it to you. Back in just a few. Alright guys, for another update here. I've got the shuttle bay installed into the back now. I don't know if you can see that. But it's all installed back here. Light works. I've just now glued the body together. It went went together really tight so gapping is not bad so I'm gonna crank down the light here and see what we got of course this seam back here is gonna be pretty much covered up by that but there's a piece that goes on top here has some front seam here to take care of when it, after it dries a little bit up here on the where the command deck goes the bottom there's hardly just only just a few spots, small spots where the lights, lights coming through, but I still have to sand the seam to get rid of it because I don't want that seam on there. Um, but this is what the shuttle bay looks like. I don't know too well you can see that. But it's turned out pretty good. I like it in the lights for the sides. Everything's looking good. I'm pleased with it. So I'm going to get back at this. Uh, we get this other piece put on back here and uh, do some seam work. So I'll be back in just a few then. Alright guys, back. It's been about uh, a week, a little over, almost two weeks I think. But uh, I'm finally back. My hand is healed up pretty nice. It's just a little bitty scabs here and there on it, but uh, it's doing really good. I got full function back in it for squeezing and stuff like that there instead of the cut opening up anymore from the chainsaw incident. Um, I had to get a new vehicle besides so that kept me away from the bench. I had to go around shopping so I got a new vehicle now. I'll show it to you after the video here. But uh, this is where I'm at right now is I have some putty work going on here. I went all through the all around the bottom through here up here the top. The only place that I really didn't do is from this point here to almost all the way back because there's going to be a piece here that goes on like so. Let's stick it on here real quick so you can see it. The holes lined up. There we go. That's the way it's going to look on there like that. So, and it covers almost up to the very back here so that's where it's going to, I got the actual putty on there too now so. But I'm going to get sanding and I'll come back and show it to you but I'll, that'll be on the next video. What I've also been working on here is uh, doing some trenching for the wires. They did have a spot here on each side for the wires to, to have wires go through, but I'm going to extend that out a little bit here and then down on the inside here so that way I can bring it up to this. Uh, this is where the underneath says where the, the base goes in or the, the pole. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this goes on here like so. Slides down. It's gonna. Have to, there's no gap here for the wires to go through. So that's got, it's like I said, I'm gonna be doing that trenching right through here, and then drilling a hole here and bringing the wires up through here and then down in. So it comes out here, of course, and then down into the base. But yeah, that's where I'm at. 
I wanted to give you a quick update. I'm going to end this video on, on this note. So I'll be back in just a few. Uh, so thanks to my subscribers for watching and new subscribers for subscribing and watching. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you have comments, you can leave them below and I'll get back to you. Or any questions. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Catch you later. Alright guys, as I said, here's the new vehicle. There's the one that died. This is the new one. <clears throat> I put my own little touches on it. I have to show it to you real quick here. Here's my truck in the garage. You can see it back there. But I put my Cleon Insignia on it in the back window. And on the back side here, I've got that one. And on this side, I've got another Klingon Insignia. But it's a Jeep Cherokee. Really nice car. Just so I give you guys a quick look at it. See you later.